This is a crankshaft as removed from a running 500 Indian Enfield. And I just thought I'd make this little video just to show the sort of run out that you can get on them as they are inside an engine. You can give this a spin, hopefully the needles on the dials will be visible. got about 0.15 of a millimetre on that one which is about six to seven thousandths of an inch that one there is also clocking seven to eight thousandths of an inch which really is way over what you want admittedly the needles on the gauges are rising and falling almost at the same time as each other. So if I give that a little tweak there, and get them in the same plane as one another. They are rising and falling almost simultaneously which means one can cancel the other one out but that is a lot of whip in that crankshaft and it might be possible to see the flywheels even sort of moving in and out to, to and from one another as it rotates so hopefully once I've split these and machined them and lightened them and rebalanced them and pressed them back together with a new roller big end in I'll get them down to a far more respectable run out figure than that and that should help an engine run a lot more smoothly and give the main bearings an easier and longer life as well so uh, I'll come back to this after I've done it and hopefully be able to compare before and after